What up dudes, good morning. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you for asking. Steve and I are on our way up to London for something, I'm not sure, I'll ask him now. I've stopped in at Giro for a quick coffee and um, I'm gonna crack on with today. I bring gifts. Please, man. Oh. <laughs> the police, the police. I knew we stopped for coffee. Oh yeah, then we'd be in trouble. Steve, how are you, bro? Really good, really good, man. Horrible day, though. Man. It's grim, isn't it? Really grim. But we're not gonna let that get us down. Oh look, it's Battersea Power Station. What up? Steve, Steve's brought me to some kind of like camera heaven. I can't handle this. There's too much. There's too much kit. Uh, no, there's tripods for days. I can't. I can't be in here. That shop was amazing. There's so much. That was like a one-stop shop for all my camera wet dreams. Guys, it's Josh Record on Radio One. Woo! Yes, Josh. Yes, Josh. Hottest record of the year. Is that Fern Cotton's hottest record? Is it uh, Zane Lowe, I think. Zane Lowe's hottest record of the year. It's cool, eh? If you guys want to know what Josh... Josh is, um... Well, he's a long, long friend of Steve and Louis. And I met him uh, a few months ago. Such a nice guy. I'll put his Twitter in the description. And his link to, his, uh, to this song. Go and check him out. Guys, look, it's hailing. It's hailing. Ah! Hail is awesome. Um, we're heading to Cafe Juro. This is quite close, isn't it? We're heading to Cafe Juro with our laptops so that we can be productive and eat some lunch. This hail needs to chill out, though. Giro, Giro, Giro. Get in there. Pastrami and cheese and pickle bagel. Yes, yes, Giro. How excited are you about food? So hungry. Get that down, you Steve. We got Laptop Club going on here. We're just missing Louis. He's the founder of Laptop Club, isn't he? Um, we're done in Juro. We have had such a productive day. How many emails did you send, Steve? Like a million? At least 100,000. Really? Yeah. Maybe 200,000. I got a lot done. A lot done. And now we've got to go and do some admin. And then we're going to go to the gym. It's the gym for me, man, I swear. It definitely is the I'm gym for you. Everyone's going to be so strong and no. in good shape. No. Yeah, but. That's because they go there regularly, and when you go there regularly, you'll be strong and in shape. Oh, there's gonna be an accident. Locker 27. What are you saying about that, Steve? Nervous, man. Shame. Come on, let's go training. Okay, nobody's here. Everybody's coming later, so me and Steve are going to do our session now. And we're just going to do a pretty basic, just a basic prowler session. This thing is the prowler. And you basically push it up and down. It gets your heart going, doesn't it? It does, man. It's good. I don't think it's that heavy. And yeah. Come back to that. On the way back, it yeah. gets you. Gets you, man. And the cool thing about this is, when you push it, and it's no impact on your legs at all, zero impact. So the next day, you can work really hard on it, and the next day your legs won't be like really sore. Okay, so we're doing sets where I go and Steve rests, and then Steve goes and I rest, and this is quite hard. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's getting you, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There you go. Good work, bro. Come on, Steve. It's good. Get 
keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, let's call it a day. <laughs> yes, see, that's how it's meant to be. Yes, Steve. Yes, Steve. Good lad. Keep that guy moving. That's awesome. Steve is pushing on like a trooper right now. He said he can taste blood. Come on, fella. Come on, let's go. This is the last one. <laughs> Got a cheeky little circuit going on here. Steve's showing us this nice exercise there. It's in five of those, and then five of those tricep guys. Flipping strong, Steve, nice. So what we've got going here is a little circuit. Steve's currently doing sit-ups. He's about to do sit-ups. Come on, Ben. Yeah, get it, man. Get it, man. Get it. Um, sit-ups and then those little leg and cross-to-cross things. Followed by with a weight, neck side to side. These cheeky ones, they get your obliques down the side. Um, and then we're going straight into press-ups, just 10 press-ups. That is a fine example of a press up right there. Awesome. Followed by the plank. This is hard work that Steve's putting in now and it's gonna pay dividends. Cheeky little additive, that guy there with those, that triple exercise thing. Yo, that was a really fun gym session. Did you enjoy yourself, Steve? Oh my gosh, I've never worked that hard in my life. Yeah, man, it's really good. But are you going to be back though? Oh yes! Yeah! Bro, I'm coming on the regular. Cool man. That prowler, that thing we're pushing up and down, that is a demon, that is a beast. But you won't, your legs won't be sore. You don't believe it's me. It's full of lactic acid. Yeah, and they're full of lactic yeah. Right, we've done the training, now we've got to feed ourselves. Because... You've got to, you've got to um, eat right after training, because then you make the most of the training you've just done. Cheers, bro. Mate, yes. It's been such a good day, hasn't it? Getting we have had healthy. such a good day Mate, it's today. it's been great, yeah. man. Literally. Cool. Healthy lifestyle. Healthy lifestyle, let's do this. Cheers, bro. Bye, bye, bye. Guys, do not throw away your broccoli stems. These are really delicious, raw, and very good for you. All right, tonight we have got reheated casserole from the other night. Reheating it only takes a little bit longer on the stove than it does in the microwave, and it is much better for you. The microwave, I'm not sure about those guys, man. I don't, I don't think they're good for you. Also, steamed broccoli. If you steam it instead of boiling it, it keeps the nutrients in it better. I tell you, when you've done a hard gym session or some kind of hard um, exercise, you feel like you want to eat good food afterwards so that you, you're kind of getting maximum adaptation from all that hard work you've just put in. So I've just had a message from Steve as well. He said he's cooking up a really healthy meal and um, he's buzzing. He's obviously pumped full of endorphins right now after that hard gym session. I miss Nicole so much. That's a little bit random, but I miss that girl. I'm gonna try and get her on Skype soon or something. Anyway, this is what I've been working on. Um, new website, and it's not ready yet. I still need to put some more products up and restock a load of stuff, but that's why things are taking a while because um, this, it should be pretty cool, look, like you hover over it and stuff. So, I want to relaunch the website and my blog. Um, so that's all in the making right now, which is why I spent six or seven hours in the cafe, solidly on my computer today. 
um, and it's going to be the same tomorrow. Anyway, I'm going to say goodnight to you guys. I'll catch you in a vlog tomorrow. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing and thumbs upping my videos. It makes a massive difference and I love you guys for it. You got you hardcore brownies are fantastic. Um, and yeah, remember to work hard, be nice to people and try not to get lost or killed. Okay, love you, bye. Eat the grapevine tomato. <laughs> <laughs> You're eating cauliflower. Where did you get that? Put it back. Oh, right. This is really covered in cling film. Then for too many. Keep going.